Hi, this is Sahana. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a form with select list. This is our application. Here we have a drop down which displays the list of tutorials. If I click on tutorials, we get a list of articles. Now we are going to create a form to add new article. That form is going to have a select list from which we can select tutorial. Here is the project. If you want to go through the code, you can check description. There you will get a link to my GitHub repo. You can go through the code. Inside controllers, we have article controller. Display articles action method has a responsibility to display all the articles by tutorial ID. To implement add new article functionality, let's add one more action method. I'm naming this action method as add new article. Next, we are going to add a view by name add new article. Expand views folder. Here you can find a folder by name article. To this folder, we are going to add one more view. Right click, add, view, choose razor view empty, add, name it as add new article, click on add. Here we are going to design a form. This is very simple form. Here at the top we have specified model. This, this view makes use of article view model. Inside view models folder, we have article view model. This class has all the necessary fields like it has article title, article content, tutorial ID, tutorials list, so on. If you want to understand forms in detail, I have a dedicated video on forms. If you can visit my channel, there you will find a video. Let's see how this form looks now. I'll run this application. We don't have an option to access add new article from from UI. So I will write controller name then action method name. This form has an option to enter article title then we have an option to write article. But right now we don't have option to select tutorial. So now we are going to create select list which will help us to select tutorial. Let's see how to do that. To create a select list I will copy this div tag. Then I will add a label and I will write please select tutorial. To create a select list, we are making use of select tag helper. And I am binding this select list to tutorial ID. Here we have one more attribute that is ASP items. This attribute helps us in binding options. Let's go back to the controller and let's see how to prepare select list items. Here we have article controller. Inside article controller, we have add new article action method. First, I will get all the tutorials from database. I will declare a variable. Then here I have article repository dot. I will call get all tutorials. I will go to the definition and check what type of method is it. If you look at the signature, you can understand this is asynchronous method. If you want to verify, you can expand this repository folder. You will find article repository. Here you can find get all tutorials. See, this is asynchronous method. If it is when we are calling asynchronous method, we have to make changes to our action method. Let's come back to this add new articles action method we should make it a sync task. While calling this method, we should use await keyword. That's it. Now we have tutorial data. Next step is to prepare select list. I have made use of this tutorials data and I'm binding this select list to tutorials. Uh, here, if you notice, I'm making use of view bag. The reason is I want to send my data from controller to my view and view bag will help me to do that. One more important change is we should decorate this add new article action method with HTTP get attribute. Next, we have to bind select list to this ASP items. Select list is ready. Let's run this application again. Okay, now I will search for that action method. It's there inside article controller add new article action method hit enter see now we have this select list ready and it is populated with tutorial name we have select list but we are not at done the reason is there is no action method that handles this form submit we have to work on that 
Now I'll write HTTP POST version of add new article. This is our add new article method with HTTP POST attribute. This method takes article view model. Here we are checking if the model state is valid or not. If it is valid, then we are calling this add article method from article repository and we are adding article and uh, we are calling this index action method. In short, this method adds article data to database. This index action method calls get article method and gets article data and passes that data to index view. Index view displays data in the form of table. Now I'm going to enter article title. I will select this time I will select ASP.NET Core MVC. I will say routing and I'll write something here and I will submit. Upon submit index view displays available articles. Now we know how to create select list. Thanks for your time. See you soon in the next video.